Well, it's pretty much a cicada season right now here in the Midwest area. And I don't know if you guys can hear all that in the background, but there's plenty of lovely cicadas everywhere right now. And check this out. There's one right here behind me. Look at that. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope I didn't disturb any of them. But they're pretty much hatching right now from their shell. Something's supposed to be arriving in the mail later this uh, morning. I recently picked up the Godox 8400 Pro. It's a speed light wireless flash and that's something that's supposed to be coming in the mail right now and there's a lot of things also that was ordered but check this out. That just came. Oh my god, I pooped your ate. I'm oh, good to go. Yeah, yeah guys, what's going on? What's going on today? And that is the prettiest Easy Lock 34 inch silver beauty dish. So let's open it up and let's see exactly how this whole thing looks together. Oh, pretty much out of the package. This is exactly what you get with the Godox 8400 Pro. Again, nice trailer case for it. There's the beautiful bulb. There's the adapter. There's the battery, and here's the charger. And the trigger is still yet to come. So having picked up my gently used Godox 8400 Pro on eBay, um, the seller said that you know everything was working great, everything should be fine underneath the description. And after opening the package up and testing it out, something very terrible happens battery just doesn't work and scrolling through pretty much everything online and especially you know in the whole entire community of a user with for a godox 8400 pro or anything really of godox brand related they just really have the crappiest battery so i found this one guy who pretty much said on youtube that if you are to use a battery car charger something that you can convert from 12 volts 6 volts etc you know, juice it down onto the battery and it'll work. So we're gonna go drive to AutoZone right now and we're gonna pick up a little kit there for a charger and do some uh, home rigging and <laughs> hopefully the thing blows up. <laughs> you know, that's just like the worst feeling ever is that when you get so excited, you're doing all the reviews, you're doing your homework and you know, you look everywhere online for a specific product and see the reviews, the how-tos. I mean, you probably already know how to use it before the product comes to you from looking at the tutorials online and seeing exactly how to go using it. And the product comes, you open it, it's all fun, it looks beautiful. And then there's just, there's just this one little hiccup of a problem that they're really known for. Godox, you really gotta fix that problem that you guys keep creating. Your batteries suck, you know, and ugh. now I have to go drive to AutoZone, find some type of uh, trickle charger or something uh, worth of a 12 volt, six volt, you know, whatever two, three amp I can find out there and, you know, go back home and do my own little DIY, you know, charging. Uh, system that I gotta freaking pretty much boost up a battery of yours that doesn't even work. You know, I mean, uh, it's aggravating as a consumer, and I'm not the only one. There's plenty of other consumers out there that have reported the same problems, man. Godox, not cool. You guys got, you guys got fix that. You know, I, I think they're they're from China or something. I don't know. Yeah, but you know, I got excited. Uh, there's a lot of great photographers out there doing good, you know, reviews towards the product, but you know, not one ever claimed that hey, batteries suck, you know. So, oh, 
it's pretty much aggravating. And I got all excited about the freaking package coming in through UPS. All right, so just got out of the zone uh, with AutoZone, and you, know, you still gotta wear masks, people. So you know, I don't think this guy's gonna like, know that he can't go in there unless he has a mask. Oh, he's all right. He's masked up. He's good to go. But we got this guy right here, and uh, yeah, it was only for like twenty-nine dollars, and um, you know, I, I really did anything crazy. But you know, it's a battery charger, main, you know, maintainer. Is that in Spanish? I don't know. You know, approved for under the hood mounting. Um, so it basically is an auto voltage uh, detection uh, from six volt, 12 volt. So we're gonna hook it up to our home outlet and we're gonna pretty much do some, uh, we're gonna do something pretty illegal. We're not gonna blow things up. But yeah, this is what it is. Now we're gonna go home and see exactly if this does something that one guy did on YouTube that he did for another Godox product and it worked. So, boom! All right, so we are now indoors and we are going to rig a little contraption here. I don't know if you guys can see we're cooking stuff up. So here's the battery of that Godox AD400 Pro without the case. That's B positive as a terminal b minus is there this is pretty much what it looks like so you already know what's gonna happen right now right okay dr frankenstein here um should we read the russians how to turn this thing on um no i mean that's pretty much self-explanatory right i think so okay no power on really hmm okay so let's see if we don't blow anything up here in the next few seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the battery, I mean directions. I don't know. This is not an unboxing for you know built for charging. Come on, But okay, let's get to this. Let's pray nothing blows up. Uh huh. So far, I mean. Nothing yet so far. I mean, how do you turn this bad boy on? Okay. Hmm. I should power it. Yeah, take that, Godox. Yeah, that thing is charging now. Look at that. Boom. Okay. So, all I did practically was put those terminals into positive and then negative, and then now it's charging. And we didn't blow up. Yeah. The best part is that we didn't blow up. So now it's charging. So that's good. All right. So we got to check this real quick. Play. Okay. Yeah, it's checking. Boom. Yeah, we're charging, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So there you go. If you ever, if you do have a, a Godox 8400 Pro, 600 Pro, it don't matter. I highly suggest get yourself a car charger. You buy a battery, it's gonna be the same thing. I guarantee it for every generic, even with the OEM battery. Just get yourself a nice little car battery charger, twenty-nine dollars. Hook that thing up to that little battery plug it in and voila you're good to go and take some photos boom hip bump ladies and gents Boop. that's the most beautiful thing ever right there ladies and gentlemen that thing working right now charging oh my god it took a while you know but yeah never again i don't think buying a you know a dud or spare oem battery of godox would ever be another solution i think um having to buy pretty much uh you know a car battery charger like this bad boy right here it's like the only answer so yeah if you're ever in the market trying you know spend an extra little dough for a you know a flash especially one from godox try think twice man even with all the reviews out there 
People are showing tutorials, seeming professional, you know, photographers and YouTubers using that product. And I'm like, oh, okay, I did my homework, you know, I did my homework and got it, received it, gently used, you know, and nope. <sighs> Didn't work. Battery just didn't want to play with me, so. Had to jumpstart something new, you know? I mean, you never had to do that. It's like buying a freaking, you know, Lexus out of the dealership. You drive out, and one hour later, you park it, and you just come back in there, and it doesn't start because the battery is dead. What do you do? Just, it's crap. All right.